this doctor was quite adamant that gay sex caused his Crohn's disease. I've heard it a hundred million times where somebody said to, said to me, oh, pull yourself together. So she sent me off to see the psychiatrist and when the letter came back from him, it basically said, well, once I started um, fitting in normally and finding myself a, a husband and having some children, that it would, it would make everything better for me. And <laughs> Don't worry is the worst one. It was totally blamed, my sexuality was blamed for my mental health condition. Like I choose to beat myself up and make myself physically sick with worry. If I could just not worry, I, I wouldn't. A lipstick, yes. Go buy yourself a nice lipstick, dear. Which did not go down terribly well and so unfortunately she, she did go on to commit suicide. Because when you land in a hospital with someone in an overdose, it's like panic stations. I was indecently assaulted by a woman at the age of 13. If a child's behaviour suddenly changes, the first thing people jump to is that there's some form of abuse going on. And it was never, ever picked up on. Uh, so, I don't know. I was almost murdered um, by a jealous ex at the age of 21. I never got along with my mum. And when she did visit and find that I'm gay, that just made it worse by saying, I wish she didn't exist, I wish she didn't be born. You do it to yourself, you're making yourself ill, you've got to stop it, pull yourself together. It's one thing you can do for yourself. And it's, it, it's, most self-harm is very, very, it's done very privately and is, you know, it's something that nobody else can control. I was always probably too scared to self-harm myself, but the first tattoo, is, the first tattoo I ever had done, it was like almost, wow, that's amazing, that's like self-harm and you have to do it yourself. So it's quite a nice, quite a nice euphoric experience for me of the pain and, and the scene of the blood. wasn't for the fact that I'd be leaving the dogs, I would have taken myself out of some of the hell holes I've been in and ended my life.